welcome to Anything and Nothing, episode eight. Today's a special day because it's the Tamara edition. It was my birthday. <laughs> Don't you love my balloons? Happy birthday, Tamara. All right, so <laughs> before we get into all of the fun, juicy gossip, Michelle is going to talk to you about her lovely drink in honor of Milwaukee. Yes, so today's drink is a lemon drop martini. And I did pick it because of Tamara. Um, she always has a problem with my sweet drinks, even though she obviously ends up loving them. So I said, let me stick to tart. And she loves a lemon, she loves vodka. Simple syrup is just to balance it out. But it's not too many extra calories. So she, actually today though, she wanted sugar on her room. Okay. Yeah, it just looks pretty. Yeah, so that's the drink. Cool. Cheers to me and having a fabulous last year in my 30s. Yes. Oh, that's right. Bomb. Happy birthday. Thank you. Let's see. This is delightful. It is. Man. This it might is. be my new favorite drink. Yeah. Like, this might beat out my French 75. You think? I kind of like it. Okay. Now, you did put a little sim more simple syrup than I yeah, do. Yeah, you probably like Yeah, so that's probably why. I think deep down I do like sugary stuff. I think you do. Yeah, yeah. you just like to fight it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so, let's get into this week's episode of Married at First Sight. It was the month anniversary, is how they called it. Yeah. I was not impressed. Um... I have very little notes on two of the couples. Mm -hmm. uh, Brie and Vince, go figure, because they're too perfect. Uh, Claire and Ryan, because they kind of like our snooze fest. And even Eric and Virginia did not do it for me this week. Um, but the folks that always give us something to talk about, Haley and Jake and Chris and Paige. So, Michelle, who right. do you want to start with first? Let's get the boring ones out of the way. Okay. Let's just get them out of the Let's way. Let's do Brie and, um, Brie and Vincent. Yes. Um, I literally had one note. And that was just that boat for their first year, first month anniversary was very cute. And I liked the whole anniversary dinner. And it was. Yeah, they're cute. They're so cute. And they're happy. And honestly, you can't have but so many good couples. They, That's the, true. The they're show the would be boring. Yeah. So there has to be at least good one or two going strong. Yeah. It. So like I felt like last for them. season was like, well, they had two, I felt like, good, good ones last season. Yes. Yes. Um, but yes. Th they're like the, they, we know they're going to make it. Right. I'm not going to be surprised at decision not at day. Not at all. Um, I actually didn't write, I didn't write anything down. Um, but then I felt boring. like I needed to say something and I put boring because they're boring. I want to see a little bit of drama, like Vince to, I don't know. I don't need any drama. Y'all keep y'all, he, he gave us enough of that. He did. And it Sauce actually dancing. made me feel like he might not make it the way he was acting. So I'm kind of, you know, just stay basic. It's yeah. time. You're... Castmates have enough drama. That's true. To carry the show. Yeah. I also so, don't feel like Brie would take shit. So no, she would have left Chris. Yeah. All right. So that's Brie and Vincent. I feel like we spent maybe a minute on them. Um, <laughs> do you want to go to Eric and Virginia? Sure. I feel like they were just as kind of boring as uh, Ryan and Clara. Well, see, there's more to talk about with them too, though. Okay. I... We can go. We can go to Ryan and Clara then. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. Um, so Ryan and Clara, I did think that the helicopter ride was cute. He, I didn't know that she mentioned it at like right. on their honeymoon. So it's like good that Ryan has memory. It's always cute for a guy to be a good listener and yeah. comes back up again. It's like golden. Yeah, but I mean, he's he has selective, I think, yeah. listening because she keeps saying, "I want to have sex with you." Like that's yeah. how. But that's going against something that he's holding out on. Right, but I just feel like you can't really follow. I don't think Claire. I think Claire, in order for her still to still want to like, know what it is, what? I don't know. I don't think I don't agree with Doctor Viviana that like he's a virgin. Like I think he's had sex before, but yeah, there is definitely something that he's very adamant and holding on to so that he yeah. doesn't, I guess, seal the deal too quickly. But I'm like, you guys are yeah. married. I don't I think just, that she's gonna get there until he has sex with her. But there's so much time. I mean, I know they film a lot, but I yeah. feel like. There's time off camera, like where they could just talk tell her about the problem. It. Yeah, just tell her what it is, so that she can get over it. Because I feel like it's kind of getting to a point where she's thinking it's her too. Like mm -hmm. her relationship isn't going the way she wants because 
she's missing that important part of what she feels a relationship is. I don't think she's so, ever had a guy that she's dated and like that hasn't had sex with her. Yeah, true. So this, but is he's probably, also it sounds like not telling her why. Yeah, like she seems confused. I think we need Doctor Vivian. Like what she seems is confuses us. Yeah. Like, what and it sounds it? like they're doing something, so I'm just like, but that something is not good enough for her. Like, no. they're obviously having no. some type of sexual, they're engaging in some type of sexual activity, but it is not the full penetration, it sounds Well, like. it also sounds like it's more her giving mm. and less her receiving. She's an idiot. Which would make sense as to why she's also not satisfied yeah. if. You're the only one giving for mom. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I thought the double date was kind of awkward. Like, she did not seem her bubbly, happy self. She didn't. Like, she's. I think she's over it. And she said, she was she like, didn't. if it gets six months in and you've not said the word I love you. But I also am just like, I don't really know why she needs the love you. Like, there's so much emphasis on Ryan saying, I love you. And her real thing is, do you want to have sex with him? Like, I think you need to pick one and, like, because maybe he doesn't well, want to maybe say I love she's you in six months. maybe clear on either one. Yeah. It's like, gosh, well, give me the one that I think I want more. I think they're both on so extremes. Like, I feel like she says I love you way too early, and it yeah. probably is not love. Right. And then he, right. I feel like, doesn't say it at all because he feels like it's going to be this special, like, butterfly thing, and it's yeah. probably not. So they're yeah. just both on, like, just opposite spectrums. I feel like Dr. Viviana needs to come back. Or maybe Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's good at like talking Where is Dr. Sense. Pepper? She's been MIA and I wonder, I'm like, is it because she's older and it's COVID and they don't want her to be around? I don't know. I have seen her on Instagram. Yeah. She is uh, out. Okay, so I don't know I mean, what Dr. Pepper is. Where are they in Houston now? Like, oh, that's the next um, I think season? it's somewhere in Texas. Oh. So, they, didn't do, they haven't done. They just did Dallas. Yeah, so. so I'm sure they, you know, she's around. Yeah. I've seen her in pictures around with them, so. Interesting. Well, I have, and not on her page, but on, like. I mean, she's been on, like, the pre-episodes, too. Yeah, so where is she? Dr. Know. Pepper, step, step in. Step game up, girl. Maybe you're what's missing. Yeah, I think so. Well, because Pastor Cal's not doing shit. Yeah. All right, I think I'm done. Yeah. Um, Eric and Virginia. Yeah, so what did you think? I guess let's talk about the awkward conversation they had about where they're going to live after yes. the the two months. So are you team Virginia on this one or team Eric? So I am team both, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I get his point. He, yeah. It's a very logical point. Super logical. He's the one that owns a place. She's the one that rents. Duh, you're gonna move into one that owns it. And he's willing to buy another place. Right. Um, I think it seems though that maybe she thinks that it's not gonna happen as fast as she wants. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be stuck. And she's gonna be stuck. And that I I could see. That's where I'm kind of more leaning towards her side because I could see that being the case because you know he's very black and white. He is. Like oh. Let's live at my home for a year. Yeah. And she's like, nah, like I want to live there long enough to find a new place. Yeah. Um, and they can have. And then like, he's not there half the year, half the month. So. Right. You can see him making an excuse of, oh, I'm not there. Right. I can't go. And we have to it. sell it before. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was more Team Eric, even though after last week's episode, I'm just like, what do you mean these views? These conservative Republican views of yours. Yeah. So I'm just not Team Eric anyways, but I was in agreement with him that I was just like, even for the short term, he was like, even for the short term? Like, really? Why? Right. right. So, but I get that she might be just scared of like, what? And she just needs to use her words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know this is funny coming from me because I don't use my words, but I think she needs to use her words and say, well, this is why. If it's going to be short term, like, it really needs to be short term. Right. And... Like, you just need to commit they to it. They need to be very specific, yeah. Yeah, so. But they said they like to avoid conversations about the things. They need the five-minute clock. So. They need to do that every day. Like, that five-minute clock thing. Yeah. And talk about one thing that's, yeah. like, they're afraid of talking to the other person about because of whatever reaction, so. I agree. Um, I agree. Okay. Uh, what about their one-month anniversary? So, I thought it was cute that he took her out, like, on the, the plane. Mm -hmm. um, that showed a little, like, sexy, wild, like, you know, vibe and his like yes. charger car. He's like manly man. Yeah. But I, they're gifts. What'd you think? That was my favorite part. <laughs> I thought. You love both of them, huh? How awkward both of their gifts were were perfect for what mm -hmm. is happening. 
So I thought her gift was crazy. I don't ever want anybody's face as a blanket. Right. Like, no. Not unless I asked for it. Like, yeah. Or give me us. If my grandmother asked me for a blanket, I get it. Yeah. But or she if asked you. Or if you're doing like a gag gift. Like, yeah. if we were doing a gag gift for like your 40th or 50th birthday, yeah. it would be like all of our faces though. Like, oh Not just God. one. Right. Like, just my face? Yeah. I mean, you saw Eric, he was like, gosh, maybe I could fit it. I think it would have been cuter if she would have got a picture of the both of, of them. Yes. A couple picture would have been nice. But like her and her dog? Like, he is there, She's plus like, he well, has a dog. So you can see me when you're gone. I'm sure he's going to, like, carry that on the plane with him. Right. She's crazy. Yeah. And I actually, I know you disagree with me on this. I thought his gift was cute. I think she's an idiot because she didn't know what the fuck it was. I don't think she was an idiot for that. He said, he was like, so, he was like, every time I head to work, I always, like, have to pass, the, uh, like, the hotel where we um, got married. And now, like... I won't have to do that because I have this like, you know, picture that I got. And I'm just like, duh, it's coordinates, it's numbers. Yeah, but you might know that because I'm smart. you know of other <laughs> That's not what I was gonna say. Um Don't like act so shocked. <laughs> um uh -huh. No, Tamara. I think this is that not because you're smart. Like I know of people doing that. Like I have a, a friend that had coordinates, like a tattoo of the coordinates. That's there. so cute. Like so I've heard of it before. Yeah. So I knew it. But she's 26. How many people did she know even did that before? Right, right, right. It might be like an, old, an older And his description 30th. to me did not equal that's what this is. Oh, I it's totally her. clued into it. Yeah, but n I again, I feel like because you've heard of it. Yeah. She, at 26, I don't think has ever heard of it. She should have just got like a beer keg or something. Yeah. She probably would have appreciated or, it. Or... Not just the coordinates, like maybe put the location to name, like or I mean, name straight Haley and Eric for yeah, or like the wedding date on there as well, like yeah. I feel like strangers, you know, not strangers, but like your friends walking into your house, like you're gonna have to explain it's that. It's definitely We're, a conversation piece. Yeah, I don't think that's a conversation like I want to have every time I walk in. I just think it's dumb. yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought if it was kind of like the whole. Claire and Ryan, how Ryan picked up on her the helicopter ride. Like in a helicopter ride. If she seemed like she was into that sort of thing. Yeah. Or if she got that for him, I think that, that would have been a good gift. Oh, he would have loved it. He would have loved like, it. Like, oh my god, how thoughtful are you? Yes. Like I I actually reverse probably would have been a better idea. Yeah. I if think he so. got her a blanket of her dog in yeah, her. Yeah, and she would have loved it. She probably would have loved it. It's true. Or and like a bunch of wine. If she got, did you okay? Did you peep that? Like when they sat down and she's like, "So you want to open that bottle?" I'm like, I actually don't even think she's doing it for the cameras. I think Virginia, when she's when she when there's alcohol, she's like, "Let's just drink." Honestly, I stopped judging her about it because I am not gonna act like every time I hang out with my friends we don't drink. Facts. And when I was 26, I we most definitely drank. Right. And if it's with your partner, so, and that's just like. Right. what you do like i don't like drinking alone so right. if there's somebody there i'm just exactly. like exactly let's drink exactly um yeah so all right anything else about i like i don't think it uh, i wasn't also, I very like that. monumental what like, nothing I monumental happened with them. each other issues um oh eric said i've done this before on the picnic date again and i mm. said i'm over it i think she finally called him out on it too she goes you don't have to always say that. Yes. So she finally called him out on it. It's so annoying. But on the on the pre shows, oh, because I, I started watching it. He admits it, so uh -huh. it's like I think in the moment he says it, but then I think he realizes that it's wrong. So I'm hoping that at this point he definitely does. Yes, I'm hoping now that like a couple he of stops shows. and they yeah. they mentioned a couple of times. Yes. So like mm -hmm. I'm hoping that like the constant reiteration is not Virginia sometimes because you can't. It can't be your partner saying it or the person you're talking to because you're going to be like, right. you don't understand. But if you have right. other people, outside people saying it, then I think yeah, you listen. So yeah. I'm hopeful for that, which is why I'm hopeful for them still. Yeah, I think they're going to stay together. Yeah. They're at least going to say yes. I mean, they both said I love you. How do you how do you say yeah. no on decision day? Yeah, they're going to, I mean, well, we can talk about them later. Um, um, I think we should go to, hit. that was... Three yeah, of the couples. Leave, leave the worst for last. Yeah. Um, Jake and Haley. So I thought it was interesting 
that she wanted to have a psychic reading. And I thought that she really was hoping that the psychic was going oh, to say, she definitely... you guys are not meant to be together. And when the psychic said, wow, y'all mesh. And she was like, like, I think it just sunk down. And I bet Jake in his head was just like laughing. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because she just was like, oh, yeah. Like, I just know that we are not matched. And I think uh -huh. the psychic said it was she had never seen a couple that matched so well. It was like mm -hmm. their moon signs or I'm not really into the like astrology and stuff. But she was like, I've never seen this before. Right. So like maybe the matchmakers did, did like do a good job. She just can't see it. And she fucking annoys me because... She really feels like she's trying. Yes, that's what bothers me the most. And trying is she, not just being present. She thinks that she is putting in so much effort. She's putting in nothing. And she literally just shows up. I don't think she's being understanding of why Jake feels the way he yeah. does. Like, I think somebody else mentioned it. I don't know if I was having a conversation. I don't know if they mentioned on the show about somebody else had a conversation about mm -hmm. it. But it was like, think about if the roles were reversed. Like, and you called, you said you weren't attracted I, to him. Yeah, yeah, if Jake said he wasn't attracted to her and she had to deal with that. Like, after I don't you think, guys had sex. After you had sex, like, what do you, what do you expect from him? Right. Like, the fact that she is confused at how he's somewhat checked out, but still willing to try. Like, yeah, she was at dinner and she was like, oh, yeah, I don't understand. Like, her face was so blank. She's like, I just don't understand. And he was like, I mean, I was trying. He was like, up until day four, right. and then you basically aren't giving me anything. Right. Like, he was like, I don't even think you like me. Right. And he was like, you can't even hug me. Right. The hugging thing bothers me. Right. I'm just like, and he said, he was like, you hug perfect strangers, and that's so freaking true. Yeah. He's not asking for a kiss. She's not even following what Dr. Viviana said. No, she's Dr. not. Dr. Viviana said literally just kiss, kiss the man. And, a kiss ever, and she didn't say tongue, just peck. Right. Do you think they're still in the same bed? I hope. I mean, I would rather do you not sleep in my bed. Yeah, I think she only did it that one night. But, I mean, maybe they stayed another night. And she probably is, like, all, like, on the corner, too. Right. Like, she probably gets no good sleep because she's so worried about ever touching him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just don't know. Because I'm very visual as well. So I get needing to physically be attracted to somebody. But also, I feel like when you go into this type of experiment, you need to know that, like, the mate person might, you know, might not like initially be like drawn to them, at, right? Like, like attractive wise, right? But there's other reasons why you guys were matched, and you right. have to try to figure that out and be very open. And I get that Jake is a little quirky, but he's also somebody that is just down for whatever. Like if she wants to go to the winer, if she wanted to have a party at his house every day. And I just think that she should try to do that. But she's also boring herself. Like, yeah. I think she does a lot of cool stuff like traveling. But I think that she also probably needs, she probably has a lot of outgoing friends. Right. And she's also the yes girl too. So I think they right. both are just like waiting for somebody else to take the lead. To take the lead. Mm -hmm. And and he's probably willing to take the lead, but with someone that actually likes him. Yeah, because she's, and she's all, I feel like she would hate everything that he would come up with. Yeah. So she's sabotaging it to me. I think she's completely sabotaging it. Yeah, and I agree. I don't think she sees it. I don't think she'll ever see it. No, I have like, like no I'm hope. Giving it all I can give. I think she said something. Oh, she said something at the um, winery about she didn't know she was giving off that she wasn't into him. Yeah, like, but you said you weren't into him. I. That was, you said you were not attracted that was to him. Absolutely ridiculous to me. Like, what do you mean? How do you not know that that's what you're giving him? Yeah. I mean, he literally has said that out of his mouth multiple times, and he's also said, "I don't think you like me. I don't think you're attracted to me." Right. So, yeah, they were so awkward. I, I feel for him, and I love, I love that he like wore the shirt that she got him. Yeah, like he's trying, and it he frustrates is. me that like she's not. Yeah. But then after this, she's probably gonna be like, "Woe is me! I can't find a good man." Da 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 da. And it's like, no. Oh, no. and she'll think that he's still wrong. I, yeah. I don't. The way it comes across now, she still seems like she doesn't. I don't think she'll ever get clued in that she's the problem. Mm -mm. But I mean, I'm hoping. So if her girlfriend, the one that like she talked to, like when oh, she yeah, got the back, one, yeah. if any of her other friends are like that, like any indication, I think they will sh like tell, tell her. Yeah. Because like her friend said, she was like, okay, so you are not, he's just a bad dresser. So right. it's either she's not good with verbalizing what's really bothering her, which is 
his weird personality. She just doesn't like it. She right. she needs somebody that is, I think, cooler. He needs to be like a cool guy. And Jake is an awkward guy. Yeah. I think he'll do whatever, but he's awkward. And I'm I, I would think I would be okay with the awkward guy as long as you don't like make me feel like I don't know. Um I don't know, like judgment or anything like that. He doesn't right. give any of that vibe. Right. He's just like he's not gonna be planning anything. Yeah. They also seem like they aren't having a good conversation. No, but I I think this goes back to the fact of they both are very like born people. Right. So um I think that's all that I had. I, I just bad. I just said he's tapped out, he's not very positive, but I did like that he was more vocal at dinner and Haley couldn't take it. And she was just so surprised. The, the, oh, and the tears. Yeah. The tears bothered me. Yeah. Because for me, the tears should have been for her being disappointed in herself. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that that was what they were for. Well, if they were for her being disappointed in herself, oh, I took that down the wrong way. would think that that would be great. But I don't know that that's what it She doesn't think she's doing it. She yeah. thinks she's trying. Yeah. And I, I think at the end, she's going to say, I tried as much as I could. Right. I think she wants to be the nice girl. And I, we should have noticed it from day one when they were doing their interviews, like, at the wedding. And, like, she was just very much like, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a lot to take in. But it's just she's just trying to, like, show face and, like, oh, be, no, like, I the she nice didn't girl. Like Right. Wedding, and wedding. then he also mentioned, I was like, I didn't realize it, but like when he went in to kiss her and she like immediately backed away. And I was like, ooh, I don't remember damn. That. Yeah, they like recapped it. And it was like, ooh. And he mentioned that when they were at dinner. He was like, you know, in the awkward how oh, you like he immediately did. pulled away. And they showed yeah. it. I was like, ooh, I didn't even peep it. Hey, like, gosh. You got to do better, girl. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I feel bad. I hope Jake finds. I hope that. If anything, well, this is why this, I said they can't put old people like us on there because we we. I think you would try to work it out. We'd be a boring season. We would be Brianna and Vince. Yeah. Oh, you you having a tantrum? Okay, let's figure out what your tantrums are about. Sir. So I think if you notice, like the people that are like thirty five plus always make it. So like AJ and Stephanie, they were fine. <laughs> Like they both were, AJ was like there was a there was a Boston season though they were older they did not work oh out. they didn't mm -hmm. whose fault was it the girl or the guy I think I don't think either one of them were were right okay. I don't remember what it, I think that was the season I don't remember what so it then was. I never I never watched uh Boston yeah. but AJ was like I don't want to eat dinner alone and he was determined he was like I'm gonna make this work because I don't want to eat dinner alone I'm great. tired they actually found two kind of awkward those are two awkward people her man. laugh she's just always yeah. laughing and but they seem to be having such a good time they do they yeah. just like to drink and yeah. eat out and yeah. i just heard that they moved to florida Aww. they were like fuck this uh philly stuff we can work remotely right. so it can't happen all right yeah. i got a whole a whole page mm -hmm. and then some for chris and page well i'll let you take the lead on them because i'm so over them all right so over it when she started off by saying I'm gonna give him another shot. I said, what does he need to do to make her leave? She's like this abused puppy that just keeps getting hit over the head and she just keeps coming back. And she keeps saying, well, I'm just taking what God gives me. And I'm just, I said, give him another shot. Why? What did, like he literally told you day two, I'm not attracted to you. He told her he wanted a divorce. Now he's flopped and said, maybe I want to work it out. I just... Time out. Have you seen the um, preview of the decision day? No. I, I can show you that. We can show, I can show it at the, after you finish talking. Okay. You're going to be mad. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so I we said... We have to do the final uh, episode live. For sure, for sure. Like, and we have to have like dial-ins or something. Yeah, like, because this is absolutely ridiculous. So I said, give him another shot. I also said, I wonder what her how her past relationships ended. I don't think Paige is the type of girl that would ever end a relationship. Mm. I think that the guy has to end it. Mm. She can't. Chris well, is maybe not. the worst person. And I know she keeps saying because they're married and she made this vow, but like vows can be broken, especially yeah. when the other person isn't abiding by them. Yeah. And I think that's what she's forgetting. Like, but I made this vow and I'm like, but if you made a vow with somebody that's not upholding what they said, you guys made a vow together, right. you should leave. Right. Mm -hmm. 
she makes me so frustrated. Yep. And then I go, Chris, now he's committed? He's Thank committed you. to making this work? This is all the beginning after basketball. But I'll pause there because I'm I, I get so heated. I mean, he what did I say? Maybe you start with the basketball, because all that was like bas like basketball. Like after basketball. I thought the basketball was stupid. Yeah. I thought them hanging out was stupid. Mm -hmm. I thought it was stupid <laughs> that he said that she had she doesn't communicate well. Oh <gasps> she, she hasn't done anything but communicate. He was he anytime the he switch on her. Anytime he says something crazy, she's like, I don't understand. Yeah. Can you explain it? Like she's done nothing but it be perfectly clear with her communication. If anything, you're the problem. Did and you it, notice I, how he said he was like, "Well, I called you that one time and you didn't answer." Yeah. And, I, and and then he and she was like, "Well, I why didn't you he did he leave a voicemail?" Well, and she goes, "She goes, why yeah, didn't you, you follow up me? with a text?" And he goes, "I don't like to text." I was like, "Wasn't that your conversation when Doctor when um Pastor Cal was there and you said you don't like talking on the phone? You would rather see her in person." Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I I wrote I'm emotionally drained. I think that they um, are still having sex. Um, no, you don't. Yeah. No, you no Michelle. No, you don't. I did not think they were still having sex. What dummy would still have sex with him? Does Chris have like what? Is, what is, like what is it? The Midas touch? Is that what they call it? like the Midas? Like what? What is it about him? I don't. I don't. You know, I'm not the one that. that I can't believe you think, oh my god, we have to do a poll. If you think I really that think. they're still having sex. It doesn't make sense otherwise. I don't understand. Yeah. Nothing else logically makes sense. She's crazy. Maybe she's crazy. Um, also, I love when she went out with Haley like, and Brie. Um, and they were, they were talking about the relationship. And she was like, and how she bought up, like, you know, oh, you know, I just didn't like the fact that, like, he bought a brand new like car. She didn't even mention that it was a Mercedes because I think she knows that like the girls would have just been like, "You're an idiot." And they they both just listen and I patiently. Wish they had said that. Like that's. Oh really no, no no! Haley goes. So how is his ex going to be comfortable with the car now? I said. Right. Bingo. That's what I said right. when he first said it. Right. Like the girl, and she was like, "Well, he said that he, you know he wanted to get it like really early on, so that like she gets more comfortable." I'm like, if the bitch is not driven in six years. I think she might like be traumatized, legit, and I'm not knocking her for that. I've never been in a bad, bad car accident, but if somebody is able to not drive for six years in Atlanta, Atlanta's not like a metro accessible area, so she's obviously not comfortable. You know this was his I want you bad gift. Right. It didn't work out. Yeah. Which is why he's in Paige face calling her now. Yes. Um, I said. Oh, that was the comment that bothered me. I forgot. What? He says now his needs aren't being met emotionally. <laughs> I didn't even Chris's write that down because he's an asshole. Needs aren't being met emotionally. Yeah. yeah. What? Um, what? It annoyed me when they played pool and he was like, he blamed Everett, like when he wasn't hitting the like balls or whatever. Because I think she was like, do you want to like, do you want to break? And he was like, no, I'll let you. He's like, it's probably gonna be the only time that you can like actually like maybe hit a ball in. So and then he blamed crazy. everything that was sucking. He was like, this board, this this board's just not even. Like he is just so insecure. Like, and I'm just like, why are you attracted to that? He's not even. He's not. Oh. I mean, it does go back to other people have said throughout the season that the matchmaker is probably a good matcher with the person that she wanted, which might be why an asshole. Basically, all of the things that she wants is yeah. him. And, I mean, minus the baby. Right. I mean, if he didn't have a baby, she probably... But I think that Chris is happy Like, that guaranteed, if he didn't have the baby, I think that... But I think he's happy that he has the kid because that's a reason for him to jump ship. Because he know doesn't... I'm still not sold on this kid. But you don't think she was ever pregnant? Should I just leave it at that? Like, you just sipped and just said, that. okay. Um, so, at the end, when she was left alone on her one-month anniversary, actually, I don't know, if, has anyone in Married at First Sight history ever been left at their one month? Even Matt and Amber were still together at one month. Um, and what happened to deciding, do you want to stay no, together? I don't know if anyone. Oh, um, DC, they, they left at month Oh, yeah, Brandon. But obviously, like, they were Not like, Brandon. Um... Oh, uh, cutie. Uh, yes, Arlington. um, an ice skater. Zach, Zach yeah. and Mindy. 
Zach and Mindy, they broke up at my I would, see, yeah. When Zach, they got their time out, time out, I think they were like, oh. They did. Are yeah. they going to do that this season? Because I didn't even see for next I didn't episode. See it. They're not, I know, I they're not see letting it. them decide if they want to continue or not. Because I feel like this would be a good, well, Chris is already tapped Maybe they're out. trying to avoid another, maybe because of COVID, they're trying to avoid having another group meeting type situation. I just, I'm like, Chris even is even tapped out. their homes, but. Uh, yeah, but Chris is tapped out so much. So I'm just confused. I know they're all like confused. And are we surprised that she was alone on her one month anniversary? No. Okay. She shouldn't even be with him. <laughs> she shouldn't have watched anything. I agree. I agree. Why are you watching it? I'm over it. Paige, do better. Gosh. It did look like at the end of this episode she was finally done. No, she said she goes, everything happens for a reason. And I said, I put annoying, question mark. Un underline, underline. I put you are finally, annoying. I said, is Paige finally done? Question mark, question mark. No, it sounds like next episode she's not going to be done. No, I, think, well, I told you, I saw, I'm, I'll have to show you a flashback. I wish I could show you guys. Um, yeah. I'll post it on our Instagram page. I'll forward it because it's, I'll share it. It was. It's on one of the Mer other Meredith First Sight fan pages. But I think it was from that, um, you know, they had an episode record that it was um, like people reviewing uh the season so far okay um and they were talking they were showing like that preview and it's just like basically chris said we are undecided and i think Paige said he's always so i, don't, I think she said honest with me i think that was the word she used what you're not gonna do is say multiple times that you don't want to be with me like, if you said it, I think... And he said, I'm going to answer for both of us. We are undecided. He's so undecided. And Dr. Viviana said, what? No. And then you don't see it. So I can't wait for decision day because that... But the fact that they even... And she said, Paige is just sitting back there all nicely. Like, oh, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it tonight. But I'm post you know it who she reminds me of? Who's the guy that, like, was the expert, the relationship expert guy? And then got caught cheating with all these women? And then his dumbass wife was sitting next to him oh. with a with a satin cap on her head, looking like an idiot. Derek, Derek mm -hmm. Jackson. That's what that's what Paige reminds me Jesus. of. This dumb submissive can't think for herself, thinking that like what somebody presents you is like just because. Well, I think in that situation, I think way more meets the eye. Like you oh. said, you're a little behind in social I'm media. I'm super behind. behind. So before you make any comments, okay. you can see other stuff that she posts. Yeah. I think she's in a cult. There's a whole different situation going on. Oh. I don't know. I think it goes way I mean, he behind. was way up front. He was like, and when I say I have been with women, it is not just talking to them on the phone. I was like, Okay, I mean, I think all of us got that. Like, you said you were cheating, not like just talking to us on the phone. All right, I think that wraps up Married at First Sight, mm -hmm. Atlanta. I think Haley, do better. Chris and Paige, do better. Everybody not else. Not even do better. Leave each other alone. True. Tap out. Yeah, tap out. Oh. Haley, just put Jake out of his misery. Yes. Chris, I need you to put Paige out of her misery because she's an idiot and she's never going to leave. So, Ryan, give up, give it up. Yeah, Ryan, you stop on now. Yeah, I agree. But I think Eric, I wish you could be changed. Yeah, I think though maybe like seeing her gay sister will help him change his views. No, maybe. I don't think. No, no, no. Their whole family is just no. fucking bunch of conservatives. Ugh, he voted for Trump for the second time. I can't fuck with Eric. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't write shit. I was zoned out. I was on my phone like. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all right. All right. Thanks, guys.